This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. A good indicator of political risk is whether or not insurance companies, particularly reinsurers, are continuing to develop new products and services that address the political risk of foreign direct investors. The reinsurance industry has basically walked back away from investors and they're doing this in the manner that suggests they are very very concerned about the world global economic environment the eurozone and all of the political problems that created the political mess that the eurozone and many parts of the world are now in the reinsurance industry has taken a step back to the point where they have reduced their exposure by 80%. And this has been over a period of years. This, to me, is an indicator that nine years ago, people much smarter than I had a very, very clear idea that there were some structural political risks inherent in the Eurozone and other countries to the, to the degree that the exposure of the reinsurance industry was so high that they gradually had to stop had to start taking steps back without alerting the general population and thus causing a, a a problem or contagion in the markets. I applaud them for taking this approach, but I also am concerned the fact that they are doing this is a clear signal that foreign direct investors are going to be further exposed to substantial political risk without any possibility of redeeming their investment. Now, reinsurers have sold over $3.8 billion worth of protection through the credit default swap markets, and this is just last year. And if you go back to 2003, you will see that in that year, they did $20.3 billion. And let me repeat that. This past year, it was $3.8 billion. Back in 2003, it was $20.3 billion. They have pulled back substantially. And there's got to be a reason for that, because these people are tracking the markets. They understand what's going on. They know what's going on. This is a leading indicator that foreign direct investment is very, very volatile in many parts of the world. That is not a news flash, but... That is a clear signal that this industry does not see it turning around anytime soon. Because if they did, the pullback would not have lasted this long. It would have been starting to come back the other way probably about a year or two ago. There's something brewing that the reinsurance industry clearly knows, is giving a clear indication of, and... It's more about protecting themselves than the foreign direct investor. However, the foreign direct investor can protect themselves based upon the fact that the reinsurance industry has given them a clear roadmap to do so. Now, if you look at everything in a totality of the situation, you will realize very quickly that the political risks are going to continue as long as the current leaders are in place in Europe and other countries, and as long as they continue with the same policies that they have now. However, changes in policies are also political risk to the extent that you do not know what's going to happen. So, having said all of this, my opinion is that the reinsurance industry is a very, very key indicator of political risk at this time. And they are also giving a very, very clear signal that foreign direct investment needs to be done in a manner very, very consistent with a ton of research before you spend a dime or put any money into any projects or investments in foreign countries. If the insurance company who literally makes money on something possibly and definitely not happening is concerned, then you need to be concerned as a foreign direct investor. There's no other way to put that. I can't see how you cannot be concerned. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am L. Thompson.